this little robot vehicle towing a 32-ton VBCI infantry fighting vehicle here is the Themis Cargo, the base platform of the Themis UGV, minus all the weaponry and ISR equipment the other variants have of course. And like you just saw, even without all the fancy gear attached to it, this little powerful robot is quite a beast. But not only this, it is already a veteran of two operations, and its performance during them so far was quite impressive as you will see for yourself in this video. But first, what is the Themis Cargo? Basically, the Themis Cargo is everything the average infantryman ever wished for, since it is intended to support dismounted troops by carrying everything a soldier would normally carry. And this can be quite a lot. Ammo, anti-tank weapons, explosives, food, backpacks, specialized equipment, and the list goes on. Having to carry all this by yourself can be quite an exhausting nuisance, and at some point, every soldier just hates walking. So why not just ride on top of it? But the Themis Cargo can not only carry everything a soldier would normally carry, it can even increase his overall payload capacity thanks to its maximum payload weight of 1,200 kilograms. This can translate into more ammo or more anti-tank weapons, leading to an increased value of combat capabilities. So if dogs are considered to be man's best friend, I think this little beast here has the potential to be a soldier's best friend. The Themis zero meter turning radius enables easy maneuverability in narrow surroundings. And overall, the vehicle is able to deal with difficult terrain quite a lot. Snow, mud, swamps, gaps, obstacles, all no problem for the Themis. It can be transported by helicopter, being liften, tow vehicles much larger and heavier than itself, or just put a smile on a bunch of African kids' faces in the desert of Mali, because yes, the Themis already was deployed to real conflict zones, and this has a reason. Perhaps just one example from a report by the Estonian Ministry of Defense, who documented the testing of the Themis under real conditions in a report from 2020. The Themis' first deployment began in May 2019 in Mali, where it was used by the Estonian military at a military base near Gao to carry out various logistical tasks. There it showed that the UGV not only withstood the harsh conditions of Mali with its high temperatures, dust, sharp volcanic rocks and sand, some parts of Mali literally look like Mars, or could have served as set for the Battle of Klendathu, but also provided additional capabilities to the platoon it was deployed with, from which some may even could be considered critical in some situations. On July 22nd, 2019 the machine even had its first baptism of fire by being at the hearth of a terrorist attack, only a few meters away from a suicide vehicle whose explosion had direct impact on it. The explosion mainly affected the body of the machine, and the critical components of it withstood nearly 200 kilograms of explosive material. According to the Estonian Ministry of Defense, the UGV remained operational. On September 23rd, the Themis then was first used on a foot patrol in the city of Gao. The focus here was on testing basic procedures for involving the UGV on a patrol, as well as identifying potential issues and bottlenecks. This patrol confirmed that involving a robotic vehicle on a foot patrol does not require major tactical reorganization, as it is similar to patrols with armored vehicles. It has a number of intelligent functions, including obstacle detection, and also the use of its Kasivak version seems to have a promising future. For example, during its current deployment in Ukraine, the Kasivak version has already been successfully used and is greatly appreciated by Ukrainian troops. Additionally, the Themis Rokas version is being used to clear Russian minefields while also placing Ukrainian ones to slow down Russian offensive operations. In today's reality of recurring conventional conflicts and wars of attrition, the enemy's moral has become a target again, perhaps more than ever in the last decades before. And this includes the targeting of any attempts to evacuate casualties from the front line. Now you could might argue that this has always been a thing, especially during the two world wars, but back then, this was limited to only a few things like attacks by snipers. However, today it is different because of the addition of cheap weaponized commercial drones that give nearly everybody the ability to conduct such attacks. Now you have whole companies of guys flying over the battlefield just waiting to crash their small suicide drones into anything that looks like a possible target. This includes ambulances, other evacuation vehicles and evacuation sites, as well as tanks, armored personnel carriers and infantry. And this is done remotely from a safe distance in such 
ultra unpersonal way we only knew from larger UCAV or fighter aircraft pilots before. This makes it extremely dangerous to conduct any type of CASIVAC operations nowadays. Here comes the Themis into play. It will still get targeted while carrying wounded on top if detected for sure, but it has a much lower profile than any ground vehicles used for this case. Because of this, it can take more hidden routes and limits human losses, even if struck by the enemy. This is one of the many strengths the Themis has thanks to its modular design, allowing it to be used in a multitude of different scenarios. This also includes non-military ones, like a variant designed for firefighting shows. It is meant to be used to reach areas that are too dangerous for firefighters, or that larger vehicles cannot. It is part of the Themis Multiscope UGV variant that comes in different categories, like the military version. The Multiscope versions were designed for a number of civilian and commercial usage cases, including fire and rescue, foresting or commercial things like mining. Jumping from mining to demining, the last big usage case for this UGV is EOD, especially as IED detection and disposal platform. There it can be outfitted with a robotic arm that has a 100 kilogram lift capability at 4 meters and is able to operate at day and night. Themis UGVs can be equipped with a rapid obscuring system to deploy smoke protection according to NATO standards. This increases the survivability of the UGV and provides protection of the dismounted troops and during UGV medical evacuation operations. The Themis was designed by Milrim Robotics, a Estonian defense technology company partly owned by the UAE's Edge Group, who saw the potential in the small Estonian company and bought a majority stake in it. Faisal al Banai, the chairman of Edge, told the following about the deal. These acquisitions are supposed to complement our roadmap. So whether it is Mirrim, the autonomous um, uh, UGV from, from Estonia in that regard, when we come in, we are also bringing in technology. We are helping them accelerate their roadmap, if we like something that they have and we bring in anchor clients. From all the unmanned ground vehicles to be deployed at squad and platoon level, the Themis seems to be the most promising one, given the fact that it has seen quite some testing so far and was even deployed to active conflict zones. It will really be interesting to see how the future of this little powerhouse will look like, or what do you think? That's it for the video, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, please let me know through a like and comment. It really helps this channel a lot.